Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slider here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to perform the update and delete queries which we were talking about in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen the previous video, please check the links in the description text below because here we are going to merely discuss the implementation of all the concepts that we have discussed in the last video. So what I have is my Genymotion emulator up and running with the same application that we guys have been making over the several videos out here. So right now if you click view all details as you guys notice there's a whole lot of names, passwords and IDs out there that are getting stored. And there are two buttons update and delete. Right now you click on them nothing happens because they call this method update and public void delete inside your main activity dot java through the on click attribute. Now if you go back to our Vivs database adapter this is the class where we have our Vivs helper which contains extends the SQLite open helper contains our database schema and has the creation and upgrade of our database. Other than that we have our insert data method get all data for retrieving everything get particular data that is given the username and the password retrieve the ID and other things which we have previously discussed. And other than that there are two empty methods that is update name and delete row. So in this video let's cover how to do these two methods. So for the update method this is the kind of SQL query that I want to execute. Wherever there is the name called test replace that with the name called Vivs. And right now if you go here to our emulator and if you see a view all details there is already a test space XYZ which means the user called test is present. So how do we do this again it's very simple in the first step call helper dot get writable database. Now that we have the SQLite database object that represents our database simply say db dot update and that's all we need to do. So here it's asking us several things first the name of the table so that's gonna be vivs helper dot table name then the new value that we want to put here now that is in the form of this content values object so we have to create that so go about first let's make the content values object I want to say content values equals to new content values which is nothing but a plain old map with a key and value inside this put our new value by saying put string key and string value so the key is going to be the name of the column that we want to update in our case it is vivs helper dot name this is the column whose value we want to change and where will this value come from let's take it for, as a parameter from our method over here so I'm gonna simply say new name and that's all we need to do and now our content values object needs to go right here now the condition that replace our old name where name was test right now I could directly go here and write name equals to test or I could put a where args over here by saying name is question mark and this array will contain the value test but let's actually take that from here inside our update name I'm gonna say string old name over here and string new name so the old name is gonna go inside our where clause which is gonna look something like this vivs helper that is our column whose value is name should be equal to question mark I shouldn't say equal over here it should be plus here the equal to should be inside and now inside our where args all I need to do is the string array that contains the value for this question mark which is our old name over here in other words it's just like saying name where name equals to test in other words I just remove the test here put a question mark and put the test separately inside this where args over here and that's exactly what I'm trying to do so here I'll make the string array by saying string I'll say where args inside this put our new name and we're done over here so there the condition is something like this now update table which is vivs helper dot table name that is actually vivs table right then content values which contains our new value it's like saying update set name equals to vivs that's exactly what this statement is like and then you say where name equals to question mark which is vivs helper dot name equals question mark and that question mark is equals to this value test and that's exactly what you have done here by saying where args equals to the old name that you have so at this point everything looks great this is gonna return an integer I'm gonna say int count to indicate how many rows were updated 
and our job is to res return this value back by saying int update name and then say return count over here and that's exactly the update name method now let's go back to our main activity try to run something very simple here I'm gonna simply say wivs helper dot update and as you guys notice it says give me the old name give me the new name so the old name is gonna be test over here I'm gonna do this programmatically you can put an edit text and ask the user if you want replace it by waves so this is the update query I have let me select this run this from our Jenny motion first let's view all the details right now if you click view all details there is test and XYZ position number seven I click update and again if I say view all details there is waves at XYZ position 7 which means the update worked the value test which was previously existent was replaced by the new value waves that means our update is working now let's work the delete method out the same way here I have my delete row again the first statement let me write exactly how that looks in it so this is a very simple query it says delete star from the table where name is waves in other words delete every row which contains the name waves right so here the statement one is gonna be the same thing get the writable database here and then perform the update you said DB dot delete here as you guys notice it is asking us the table name which is gonna be waves helper dot table name here the where clause which we can directly say something like this where waves helper dot name should match with the value supplied so wivs helper dot name equals to again I'll just write a question mark over here and I will put the value of the question mark inside the where arcs by making an array by saying string where arcs inside this I will put our string value which is gonna be wivs over here and then I can directly put it right there and execute it this is again returning an integer I'm gonna say int count here return that count from our method which means we need to change the return type at the top of our delete row over here and there you go so now if you go back to our main activity here we simply call delete by saying wivs helper and that should take care of something again let's get this integer this time by saying int count equals to this and say if well let's just print it out by using our message class which we have been doing so far I'm gonna say message dot message is just a toast context will be this in that case the message is gonna be nothing but the integer count over here so at this point if you select the app and run it here from the top okay so everything looks good in place now let's first see the details over here and so you guys notice there is waves 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 everywhere over here right let's delete all those rows that have the name waves I'm gonna click delete and it says four over here which means four rows were deleted with the name waves in them so we have all details and now you guys notice BAM all the waves guys are missing in other words I erased myself successfully from the database so our delete method is working perfectly now you are welcome to put an edit text and ask the user what you want to delete based on that from the query which I've already done in my previous videos when I talked about select and the other so it's the same way as doing that so this completes everything about SQLite database from a basic perspective we are yet to talk about loaders loader managers content providers and stuff but if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day